All right, so the next item is to actually create invoices for customers. So let's start with the first one, which is to create an invoice for, to your customer one. Remember that everything is on your sales cycle. I can actually go in here and look at my um, invoices from my plus sign, or I can go to my sales cycle. So let's just go straight to creating an invoice from the top. And I'm going to create an invoice for customer one. My customer one will be my one and only. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Beyonce and Knowles. And that would be my customer one. And I'm going to sell 20 products one dated 5 1 2018. This product is taxable. Make sure the tax function is turned on and it's tax based and you are offering a discount. All right, so let's go ahead and do not a service, but we're gonna do items instead. So let me open this um, product would be product one. So you gotta be careful and look at FP. Uh, the product one was supposed to be my software and she's buying 20 software items from me. Um, this product is taxable and I'm going to give her a 20% discount. So guess what? My, my um, discounts are not activated here, which is a problem or well, no problem. So let's go ahead and save this real quick. And you may have done this as well if you didn't activate the services. So let me go to my gear um, and I can actually provide a total discount in there and then close it. And then now I can see a discount. So the discount that I'm asking you guys to apply would be a 10% discount um, for the client. In this case, 10% um, would be um, $600 for me. And that would be the balance that's due now. Um, this should be due 30 days from now, due 30 days from invoice. So it's not due upon receipt, but it will be 30 days. So that should be on the 31st of May. Um, or I could switch this to net 30 and that would give me 531. All right, so what is the invoice number? I'm gonna call this invoice number 1001. This is the location of sell. That's important for sales tax purposes. Even though this is a taxable item, California rules do not charge sales tax on software. So this is gonna be different for everybody. Some of you may have an actual sales tax, but I will be checking to make sure that you activated that check mark. And if you didn't, make sure you do. All right. So let me go ahead and save and send it. I'm not going to send her a, um, well, I should say save and send. I'm going to say save and close. All right. Now the next one should be create an invoice number 1002 to your customer two for sales of 10 products two and 10 products three dated six one. So let's do a new transaction. The new transaction is gonna be a uh, sell invoice, new invoice. This is invoice number 1002. Careful with the invoices, right? Um, to your customer two, who's my customer number two? So my customer number two, why am I showing my, my um, customer number two? I think I just lost the QuickBooks. That's wonderful. Sorry about that. All right, let's do a new invoice. Once again, and it's going to go to my customer number two, which is Taylor Swift. Um, this is also net 30, so I should switch it to net 30. And it's coming from, it should be dated on 6 1 2018. So that's 6 1 2018. So that should be due on 7 1 2018. That's correct. Um, and I am selling 10 products of product number two and 10 products of 
number three. So the product to service was my FB hyphen um, book, and I'm selling 10 of those. And then I'm going to sell um, 10 products of my souvenirs. Let me make sure that was the case. 10 and 10. Make sure that the tax function is updated. So it is checked for taxes, right? There's no discount on this. Um, and there's a sales tax. In fact, the sales tax applies to both items because books and souvenirs are taxable in the state of California and Fresno County as well. All right, so this is good enough. I can save and close it. And then finally, what I'm going to do is create a sales receipt. So let me stop the video right there. Thank you.